Welcome back to my channel. Today, the video will be a little bit different than normally, but this was the request from my friend. So it's about sprouts. So let's get started. So first of all, I wanna show you the tray that I'm using. The green bottom part is to hold the water. So that's where you will pour the water when the roots are already long enough. I really like this tray and I highly recommend to use it. I will put the link in the description box for it. So first of all, you have to spray the tray with the water. I'm using that because I will put this bamboo sheet that can stick to it. I will pour a little bit more water on it so the seeds can actually stick to it. Also, actually arugula seeds are the only one seeds that do not have to be soaked overnight, but they definitely need to be placed on soaked surface. Then you will spread the seeds evenly on your surface. Another thing to remember about the arugula seeds is that you have to cover them for 24 hours, but make sure that you will of course spray them between that. Sometimes you will have to spray them two times a day and sometimes you will have to spray them once a day. So now I will cover them and put them in a dry, cool area. I heard that the best temperature for sprouts is about 70 degrees. I am trying to have that at my home, but it's not always possible. But they usually grow really well the entire year. Now it's time for watering. It's about 12 hours since I started the sprouts. So I will make sure that I water them well and then cover them back and put in the same spot. Here we have a third day of our sprouts. As you can see, they already have roots. So now I can put the water into the container. I also will add some trace minerals. If you guys want to know what trace minerals I use, let me know and I will put in the description box. So now we can again put them away. This is the sprouts that I have fourth day. As you can see, they are nicer. Now they are ready to be put in the sun. Those ones are the sixth day, so they are almost ready to be cut, but not quite ready. So we have here one day, five days, and six days. And usually on the seventh day, I cut my sprouts. And they, those ones are ready to be cut. Cutting is pretty easy to be cut. As you can see, I just grab like a little chunk of the sprouts and I cut them as uh, close to the bottom surface and that's it. We love our sprouts. I have about four trays that I rotate so we always have some sprouts at home. We use them to everything, to salads, to soups, to whatever we want and my daughter loves them so much too. She actually likes them the best with just oil in some spices and she adds them to her favorite bread and some sauerkraut and that's her perfect bite. Now I will cut the part of the bamboo sheet that is not needed there anymore. If you guys have any more questions regarding sprouts or how I grow them, just please write in the comment section. And that will be it. I love my sprouts. If you like this video, give me thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.